You want a fun painting idea? This technique is called dip and squish. You're gonna love it. Everybody, welcome! Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Soraya. So the technique is called dip and squish because that's literally what you do. You dip it and squish it and you get these gorgeous, gorgeous patterns. It's so much fun and it's so easy. You're going to want to try it. So keep watching. I show you exactly what I do. Okay, so today I'm going to start doing a uh, dip and squish as I like to call them. Uh, I'm going to dip my coasters um, in the paint and it creates fabulous colors. These are leftover colors that I have, uh, just some plain white. This is a light uh, bluish gray, it's called, uh, black and a orange. Nothing too drastic here. So I'm just going to start pouring it right here because the dip and squish method is that you lay down your colors. This is just a puppy pad uh, thing, so it absorbs really well. And then I dip the, the coasters in. And that's why I call it dip and squish. <laughs> it's a lot, a lot of fun. And it's a great uh, kind of, it's summer now, so rainy day activity or, you know, you want to do something with your kids? This is fun. And uh, quick and easy. So here's my coasters. This is a four by four. And this is what I mean by dip and squish. And then I do the back while I'm here. Since I'm here anyway, I do that. So the back is coated in paint. And then when you lift, look at the pattern you get. It is amazing. I love that. So that's one. We're gonna continue on. And I think I'm okay for a second one without adding any more paint. I love already the um, pattern and this creates. Now don't move it around too much or it's just going to get too muddy and that's not going to look good. Um, these paints are all mixed with two parts flow trawl and then one part paint. Um, gonna... Whoa, totally different. Look at that. That's beautiful. So I love that you can get different um, patterns just by the same colors that you're using depending on the amount that you use and how you dip it how you move it once it's there it's very very interesting not using a lot of color here we go two more to go with this and I think I might change it up and uh, Maybe do another color next. Oops. All right, so the back is done. And in the end, what I do is um, I cover them up in a cork. And I've got a whole other video. Oops. I'm gonna just do that a little bit. Oh, I, I made a mistake there. Okay, try again. I hope that's gonna come out. So I made another video that shows you how to finish the back. So that's kind of double dipped, <laughs> a lot lighter in color. Not sure that I like it in comparison to the others. I'm going to do this again. And because um, I like having a little bit stronger orange, I think it works really well that way. So I'm going to do that again. Put that down. There you go. Look at that. And I will show it to you when they are dry as well. They are so beautiful. Do the back. The, that video also shows you how, and I'll leave the link. Um, right now you can 
click on the link and you can see it next. It shows you how I finish them, how I varnish them, everything. Wow, look at that. That is quite beautiful. Now this one here, again, a little less, but I don't wanna mess it. You know what, I'm just gonna leave it. A little bubble there, that's okay. That is beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna get cleaned up and I will show you what they look like. Not liking what I see, I'm gonna do it again. I want it stronger colors. There you go. That suits the other ones better. You want them to look the same, but they need to be different. They will be different, but you do want them to kind of have the same intensity. So that looks beautiful. I'm happy with that now. So I will take you down now. <laughs> so here you go. This is um, up close. You can see that they are still wet, but look at the beautiful pattern it has. Love this little bit on the side. Each one matches, but they're a little bit different. I love this kind of row at the bottom there. Very interesting. Awesome patterns that it creates. Love that. And uh, click on the link you see now so that you can see how I finish them completely, putting the cork on and the varnish, etc. Okay, here it is the next day and they are dry and I love them. They turned out beautifully. Look at that. Oh, they are just gorgeous. I love the way the blue and the orange work together. They um, complement each other so well. And up next I've got close-up images so you can take your time and really take a look at each individual one. Just wanted to show you how beautiful they are. So stay tuned for that. Check out my Facebook group called Soraya Silvestri Artist, Amazing Abstracts, Semi-Abstracts and Pores. The link is in the description area below.